uh, in previous uh, sessions, I have uh, spoken about uh, uh, mechanical measurements unit 1, unit 2, unit 3, and unit 4. In unit 1, uh, I have spoken about the terminology of uh, uh, mechanical measurements in the uh, in first order system, second order, zero, like the syllabus has explained for unit one. And in unit number two, now explain uh, about uh, temperature and pressure measurement. And in unit number two, I have explained about transducer. Unit number three, I have explained about temperature and pressure measurement. In unit number four, I have explained about flow measurement. And in unit number five, it is uh, uh, called strain measurement. And uh, load measurement. Strain measurement and load measurement. So these two uh, have complete some three to ten classes. And uh, one class for uh, tutorial. One class uh, uh, test, and one class for multiple transmissions. So, uh, to speak about the state measurement, for example, we have cantilevers. So, in this uh, Three dimensional cantilever. If you take any position, any position in the cantilever, uh, we have to determine bending stress, uh, shear stress, and uh, bending strain, and shear strain. So uh, you have to find out by measurement, by mathematical calculations, uh, sensor materials we are trying to determine all this. But in this uh, unit, we are trying to measure these values at any point in the cantilever or any other type of beam. We have to determine. So for this, we have to use strain gauges. Strain gauges are the, are the materials when you apply, when they sense. Uh, the load in the material, the resistance will change and because of the resistance of change, uh, if you measure the change of resistance value, we can determine we can determine uh, The strain and surface of the cantilever. So, for this, you have to use Wheatstone Bridge. Wheatstone Bridge. So, uh, here this transducer, strain gas transducer, the details you have to clearly explain in uh, one class and the material and uh, uh, that is the input signal is strain. And because of the strain, the resistance of the transducer will change. And because of this change in resistance will be measured with the help of a Wheatstone bridge. So, like that, at the mathematical part of the Wheatstone bridge and uh, the signal that that will be coming on to this string that all to explain for some class, 3 or 4 class we can take for this and some numerical also we can solve, which which will be numericals can solve and some electrical principles of electrical technology also can explain and things like that. And another one is the load measurement. So here this load measurement, we have a um, dynamic load and static load. So uh, load measurements for example in uh, the uh, weighing bridges. So whenever uh, the trucks and all, they will have to measure the weight of the trucks and uh, the load that is on their trucks. For that, uh, 
the weighing digits are there, that concept also you can explain in load measurement. And uh, load cells are there, and uh, here the piezoelectric load cells will be there, but also you can use to measure the electrical signals and uh, the smart materials uh, that will be in use. And uh, the other thing is uh, and dynamometers, like the, the uh, speed, the load coming on the dynamometer will also, dynamometer also you can uh, explain in this. In this uh, unit number five. So that is what I would like to discuss in this small uh, video session of mechanical measurements. Thank you for watching the video.